doing our annual oh, What's in my backpack video? Oh my god, that thing is heavy Whew, That was worth it. Just lifting this up every day will be a workout So here we go again with our annual What's in my backpack video for 2019 I did it every year since I started YouTube and I'm proud to do it again because I love our What's in my backpack video And as you can see, it's still the same backpack as I did three years ago because it's still as brand new, amazing, it's lush, I can still use it. So without further ado, let's get right into this backpack. Okay, so here we have our big ass backpack because it's heavy. Uh, let's just have a little disclaimer here because last year my backpack was really light, like because maybe because I only had two books and this time I had way more books, so that's fun. Uh, still the same dark blue backpack that I used in all my videos except for my very first one because back then I saw my own backpack But this bag is way more better because it's so clean it feels like brand new and I'll still use it and I'll probably still use it in my backpack from 2020 because that's when I'm getting a new one So let's start with the small pocket again and we have a pencil case And we have a second plate so, yeah, and then we have a second pencil case uh, and usually I have one pencil case, but this year I got two. So this one is general pencil case where it has like pens, pencils, what else do I have in here? Like a rubber, a mini stapler, because I'm that fancy and extra, a topper, my calculator, highlighters, you know, all the basic stuff you'll find in a pencil case. Except uh, probably a whole bunch of things. It's a bit of a too much of a fancy term. And this one is for art, this one has a bunch of pencils like uh, different kinds of pencils like 6B, 5B, 4B, 3B, 2B uh, because I prefer using a lot of shades of pencils when I'm doing my art and I'll use this for art and these are all the pencils will be stored. It's this cute little mini version of a backpack pencil case. So yeah, we got this and we're gonna go straight into the big section because there's no other sections in this backpack. Oh, this is absolutely heavy. So first things first, you're gonna go with the giant stuff. And it's a ring binder folder thing, as of whatever you want to call it. I know in America you call it ring binders, in Ireland you call it folders. So it's a yellow big ass folder, it's for music, there's the label on it, they're custom, my own creations. I make custom labels all the time, every year. So very, gonna be very handy, I have a lot of Polly Pockets in here already. Gonna be handy for music, I also have two more, but I'll carry one. Uh, maybe they'll switch around the during the year like what maybe one day I love music, one day I love Irish, one day I love English, these are the three folders I'll be using. And yeah, and it takes a lot of space, so that's not fun for that back. Um next thing I have is my planner obviously, the dark blue one that I really like and I can't wait to use it and I'll really recommend to get a planner for you guys this year because it'll really help me and I hope I'll stay organized and yeah I'll bring it on the first day of school and I'll probably write a lot of stuff, stuff, stuff in there and yeah we'll see how we get on with this planner and hopefully it will last me a good amount of time and I'll be actually using it. Uh, next thing we have is our study one, study notebook, the notepad one, which I'm excited to use because it's fancy and I love using some fancy notebooks, so that's what we got, we have a notepad here. So yes, and I'm going to hopefully use it because I'm scared that I'm just gonna, that I just bought it but I'm not gonna use it, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, next thing we have is the three little, sorry, the three little notebooks that I showed in my school supplies video if you watched it. Uh, so we have one of them is for art and blue, my favorite color, and very small and petite. And I prefer, I know that most of the subjects require an A4, but I'll be just using for some of the subjects a small one because it's a lot easier and lighter. So we have art here and about just art, my favorite subject, and I'll be taking down notes in here. And uh, next one is the second maths. Well, I didn't show you the first one. This is the second maths copy that I'll be using because we need two this year. This will be for notes, and I have a label on it because these are the little custom labels that I make myself. And yeah, we have a second maths copy. And the last, the smallest one is Russian, which uh, disclaimer, our school does not teach Russian. 
This is for my own personal use because uh, if you don't know, fun fact about me, my native language is Russian. So that's great. Uh, so, привет. And yeah, I'll be using this for Russian for my own personal use. Uh, I probably won't even use it in school because I'm not using it in study, but I need to revise some Russian for the leaving cert because I'm planning to do for the leaving cert. And I even made a label for Russian as well. I'm not even using this for school stuff, and I still uh, I'm that extra to make a label for a copy that I won't even use in school because I'm that extra. Um, then we have our maths copy and once again a label and I don't know why I need two labels because there literally says maths here and I also have a label here. So we got this and graph paper or exercise maths copy because that one will be notes, this will be exercises so uh, kill me please because I'm not excited for maths because I don't want to fail it. But I'll see how well I'll get on. Uh, next copy, the only two big hard marks I have in here so far because I'm not ready to do my copies is music uh, because I live in love with music and this will be the music copy uh, which will be fun I guess I don't know, we'll see how it goes and we got music in the house and yeah that's what we have and that's it for the copies, oh no we actually have one more copy one second please and the last hardback is geography and for some reason it's always red and for some reason not geography is red which is interesting but yeah uh, so we have geography copies I am not excited because that's a lot of notes because I was looking through the certain geography book and honestly it's so much freaking writing and I am not the best writer Let's move on to the book. So the first book is English and it's called Language in Action and the book looks pretty brand new even though there was a lot of people that already used it looking back at the stickers but I think they just don't use the book that much so it just stays as brand new so I guess I won't probably be even using this book as much because honestly it's very thin and for leaving search it's a very thin book for leaving search so yeah, that's what we've got. we got English in the house. I'm okay with English. I don't find it boring. Well, I do find it boring sometimes. It depends on what part we're doing, but I'm okay with English. I don't want to get out about it. Uh, next thing is, oh, can we please? It's Irish, and I don't want to do anything with this book. I don't want to go near it, and keep it away from me. Just, like, get it away from me. The only good thing that is good about it is brand new. I'm the first person to use it, so... That's the only good thing about it, and it says Fiona, yeah, Fiona Nua, and it translates to new energy. And I'm like, what kind of new energy would you be giving us with this book? Like, Jesus Christ! And yeah, just get it away from me because I'm not really that good at Irish. And yeah, props to people that know they're Irish. Uh, third book, yeah, third book. Maths, active maths, three book one, because I have a second maths book, because we get two maths books this year. Like, Jesus Christ, we, can we have enough of one book, and now we have two maths books of one. So, looking at the chapters to these books, I pretty much understand most of the things, but not everything. Some new stuff there is in this book that I don't understand, but most of the things I do understand, so that makes me happy, so I won't get lost in that. So, that's great, and yeah, I'm not looking forward to do the maths again because honestly I'm not okay at it. I'm pretty okay at it if I, if I actually put in the effort and I'm hoping to put in the effort into this. And hopefully I don't fail it because if I fail my maths, um, if I won't get into college, if I don't get into college, I won't get my degree and if I don't get my degree, I won't get a job. I won't have money to pay for, I won't have money to pay for my house, I won't have a life, I'll die, I'll be sitting in the streets, I'm like, oh my god! So, study your maths kids. Uh, the biggest book that I have is Geography, it's called Earth because we live on planet Earth. Uh, biggest book that I have is Geography, Leaving Sir Geography, Chill was choosing between History and Geography, I chose Geography because I prefer Geography than History, even though I do better in History than I do in Geography, but I'll stick with Geography because I like it more. But this is a lot of, there's so much notes and writing and oh my god I'm scared for Geography because this book is thick, this book got the curves. So yeah, I'm not gonna go and talk about this book because I'm scared, I'm just gonna leave it off. Uh, last thing that we have in here is an art book, uh, art walks, art works, leaving search, history, and appreci appreci 
appreciation of art in my speech today. Uh, so we have art, fun. I uh, never got an art book. I actually have two art books and this is one of them because I'm not bringing the second one in yet. So I prefer getting this one because I think this one is the most important one. I don't know which one of two of them is the most important one, but I guess I'm just going to get some of this one. And I'm, I'm excited, but it, I never took down notes. We never had books in art and it's kind of interesting to get art books and start learning some theory in art. I'm writing down notes because in junior cert we never do such a thing. We just do drawings and paintings and linos and sewing and now doing theory and writing art is something interesting and I'm looking forward to it and see what I can learn in art. So that's it for our backpack. It's now empty as it should be every day because I don't want to pack it. So I'm only missing one book this year which makes me happy because I remember that last year, two years ago, I was missing half of my books but this year I'm only missing one book, it's the Home Egg book because long story short, when I was collecting my books I got accounting instead of Home Egg and I switched it because I am not dealing with accounting, I'm not going near it so I was like give me back Home Egg because that's what I originally was planning to do. So I got my Home Egg back but I'm only not getting the book until the first day of school so I'll get the book on the first day of school. So yeah, the backpack is empty and I hope I will succeed in another year of school, so yeah. Okay guys, that's it and yeah, that was uh, Backpack 2019 and until next year of Backpack 2020, uh, which is, I'm gonna say this like right now, Alex of 2020, hi. Um, I'm gonna say this now that it feels like it's gonna be ages away, but honestly, the time flies so fast. So, hey, Alex, of 2020, hope you're doing great and have fun making Backpack 2020. So, yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, and yeah, I'll see you guys next week on whenever I'm gonna post another video. So, bye.